you know, as your career grows, most likely people will ask you to do lots of different things. And if you don't have like an anchor, it'll be really easy for you to get caught up doing something that you don't understand why you're doing it anymore. Yeah, it's kind of the the plight and the fun of being a musician is that you have to right. wear multiple hats and kind of snag whatever you can get and be able to be versatile. Like one of the bigger problems I've had is that I have not had a concise picture of like, what do I actually want to do? Yeah, and it sounds like what you're trying to do is you're trying to adapt to uh, the things that you you are finding to be available too. Like if mm -hmm. there is an opportunity to do copyist work, you know, maybe you'd be diving yeah. into that. Or if there's an opportunity to do um, commissions for band stuff, you know, maybe yeah. you're pursuing that a little deeper. Um, kind of a weird question, but like, you know, if, um, if anything and everything was available to you, have you thought about what you would uh, choose to be doing? If I had to choose, it'd be like John Mackey, if you know who that is. There's just like a wind band composer. Um, yeah, I do. Basically just live off commissions from wind bands or whatever for or like okay. someone like Michael Markowski um yeah. who's just like also composes for like animation like the reason I'm asking you uh that is like what do you want not is not necessarily that I don't think someone ever like uh has that lays it down and then it's what it is forever like yeah. when I was uh getting interested in doing composing for a living I was like 14 that's when I decided like I wanted to do this seriously uh but I was picturing myself doing film music like mm -hmm. film music i was off of like john williams star wars and stuff mm -hmm. and uh dark knight as i've gotten older i've realized i've started to really gravitate towards animation which mm -hmm. is something more specific and that was more recent that was when i was like 18 i was like you know of all the music i've heard in film i think i actually like the one animation the most and then from there it became more specifically like well i actually really like shorter animations what i found helped me was at any one point in time, even regardless of what opportunities were or weren't available to me, I still had a picture of what I wanted to do in an ideal situation. And what that sort of helps you to do is, as you're reaching for different things and trying different things, which I think is a great thing to do and you should do early, you're framing it against what your ultimate goal is at that point in time. Like maybe you're focusing it towards doing copyist work for band stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you're, you know, compo you're reaching out to, you're making a reel, maybe you're making a reel about band stuff, you're finding some way specifically to kind of like push it all in the direction you want to go instead of telling people you can do anything and everything and then making it really hard for them to determine how they should refer people to you. Like, what does Jake do? You know, you want that to be like a concise sentence of what you do even if you're capable of many different things so i think the trick is like that's why the first thing i asked you was like like completely unencumbered anything's available to you what would you do because that should highlight what it is that you're really passionate about instead of you basing your work off of like the limitations you think are there and obviously there's a journey from a to B, it's too early to say no to everything except for that. But it sort of just gives you a, a focal point and a direction. And I think it also helps you so that like, as you're doing things maybe that aren't ideal for you, you still have a motivation for it. So it's not like, why am I doing this? It's like, well, I can see the path yeah, from, inching you, know, closer. you know, as your career grows, most likely people will ask you to do lots of different things. Um, mm -hmm. And if you don't have like an anchor, it, it'll be really easy for you to get caught up doing something that you don't understand why you're doing it anymore. You know, even though right now I know what you want is anything in music. Cause I know, I remember what that yeah. felt like. Like, I don't, I really don't care. I'll do anything. That's I think great and ambitious. Um, mm -hmm. You just want to temper that also with being like, because I want to work towards this.